you're listening to Annie on IELTS FM, and she's excellent. I hope you're listening carefully. You certainly are. It's 8.34 and a half. I'm very pleased to welcome into the studio from Newsnight, John Sweeney, Newsnight presenter. Hello, John. How are you? Good morning, Hebrides. <laughs> <laughs> Out of Hebrides, please. Let's get this right. Good morning, Out of Hebrides. <laughs> yeah. Now, you've come up to do a piece about the EU referendum in the islands today. Yeah. What's fascinating about this place is that there's, there's very, very little uh, in, inward immigration, which is a big issue, for example, in London and in England and in um, the rest of um, Britain, but here less so. So here it's, you can look at the uh, economic argument pretty purely in a way, and so that's why we're here, as well as the fact it is one of the most beautiful places in the British Isles. In the 1975 Euro referendum, the Isle of Lewis was one of only two places in the UK to vote out. So, 40 years on, will the most northwesterly community in Europe now vote yes to the EU? If you seek the beauty of the European Union, look no further than this. Scalpe Bridge, a poem in steel and concrete. Cost six million quid, more than half of it paid by European Union grant. Proof, if proof were needed, so remain that the European Union is a good thing. Nonsense, say leave. If we get out of the European Union, we'd have control over how we spend our money. And if we want to build a bridge, we can. This gin and whiskey distillery is not even a year old. Its setup costs were part funded by the EU. And for that and much else, Kenny is grateful. Every pr infrastructure project we've seen over the last 20, 30 years has had the European badge on it, saying it's part funded. So, um, in the simplest terms, it provided funding or the mechanism to get funding here. Um, Give me an example. I, I don't know the roads. islands. I mean, we used to have single track roads all over the place. And you might have noticed if you drove from Stornoway today, a lot of it was double track. And even down to South Harris now, there's more double track. Every piece of that road has got European funding in it. We have to produce a very, very high quality product here and charge a good price for it to make sure that we can um, get it to market and get it to people with a profit margin in it. But uh, Europe obviously is going to be a huge market for us because it's close and the logistics are easier to deal with. But now to the most famous export of these islands. Harris Tweed is worn by everyone from Vivian Westwood to Doctor Who and every inch of it comes through here. Right. So this is, this is wet wool, which is a distinctive yeah. smell that you smelt when you came to the mill. It pongs. No, no, it's just a very distinctive it, it, smell it's a very... of wet wool. Yeah. Leave or remain? Um, at Harris Street Hebrides, we're very much um, for remaining part of Europe. Why is that? We depend very heavily on trading with our, our European partners, trading with different countries in Europe, France, Germany and Italy in particular, and we find that very easy at the moment. And these are all markets we're looking to grow and expand over the coming years. But Lewis is by no means all remain. It's nine o'clock and the catch is being landed. Do you so think if we pull out of Europe tomorrow they're going to stop buying Scottish fish? We have a massive Spanish and French fleet fishing on the west coast of Scotland. But we have very limited quota for whitefish. But they can fish UK quota on our doorstep, we can. I think the common fisheries policy just hasn't worked for us uh, in the UK as a whole. Uh, and probably will never work. We have uh, kipper fillets, we have smoked ma salt mackerel, salt... Some of Ross's fish will end up here in the island's oldest smokery, as kippers. This is the old kiln. This was a, one of the original kippering kilns. Uh, the kippers used to be loaded from the top down with ladders, and then the fire lit on the floor. And this is what we use for our, our own salmon, our own smoked salmon is done in here. As you can see, the walls are covered in a thick layer of tar. The EU is a vast vampiric bureaucracy feeding off itself and the citizens of the EU. I defy you to go out of here and find anybody who can tell you the distinction between the European Council, the Council for Europe, 
the European Parliament and the European Commission. Back in 75, this part of the world voted to leave. Is that going to happen again? It could well do. Uh, most of the customers who come into our shop uh, are vote leave. The Outer Hebrides was Labour and is now SNP, and both parties want in. How the vote will pan out, no one knows for sure. Time to ask one last floating voter. Excuse me, leave or remain? Excuse me, sir, please don't swim away. Leave or remain? Seals.